In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a very exciting tutorial called the book style vintage photo album infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this vintage style, the photo album and I've given the, the header as uh, the old memories or the label you can say it. And then if you have any good codes on the memories, you can just add it here. And how the slide works is when I click this particular the vintage style album opens and it will reveal the old photos. Let me just show you how it works. When I click, you can see here it opens and then you know all the old photos will appear. The, actually, these are not old photos. These are very real color photos, but I have converted that into a, a gray scale and it looks a very, very old look. You can see here and then when I click next, it turns the page and it will reveal the another set of images like this you can add as many pages as you like and when i click the album closes and it says thanks and memories last forever so you can make a very good presentation or very good photo album or any other thing from this particular template and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel and you can join my whatsapp group with the help of this link and it is also provided in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon and i have used this particular image uh, as a kind of a, a old paper style which i have downloaded from the net so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and go to view enable the guides then go to insert shape select a rectangle draw a rectangle depending on your requirement maybe i'm going to use this much size so don't add exactly in the center just add just give some space here you can see here then shape outline make it no outline and you can give some some dark color here then i'm going to add to the right side also press ctrl d to duplicate and then give the equal spacing there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more rectangle. I'm going to give some light color to that. So or I'm going to add a paper instead of that one first. Let me just select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. You can see here, I just leave some part uh, at the top and the bottom and on the left side also. And then shape outline, make it no outline. Then I'm going to insert the image which I have downloaded from the net. So you can see here, this is kind of a very old torn paper look. So I'm going to do that one. So either you can do two ways. I can just simply copy this one. You can see here, copy and come here, right mouse click, go to format shape under fill picture or texture fill. And you can use the clipboard. You can see here the clipboard, the moment I click that one. So that paper has been added here. You can see here, or you can just go to insert and from the file also you can select any better image if you have you can select that one and then i'm going to select this duplicate here you can see here something like this and add the other side also and make sure that the equal spacing has been given now i'm going to add one rectangle here one more rectangle you can see a small rectangle i'm going to draw and maybe this much size shape outline i'll make it no outline and shape fill maybe i'm going to give this color light color press ctrl d to duplicate and add the other side also something like this then if you want you can just make it to the top also not a problem and the background i want to use some dark color here so i'm just going to select some dark color background you can see here something like this and then if you want you can add some rectangle also on the corners of the page so i'm just going to draw rectangle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give this color some tan color and then rotate you can see here i can make it flip vertical and put it here something like this press ctrl d to duplicate bring it down and again rotate you can see here i can rotate flip vertical again i'm going to add one here press ctrl d bring to the right side again rotate you can see here again flip horizontal just put it here ctrl d and bring it the other side and again i'm going to make it flip vertical so you can see here this has been added 
and for this paper also you can give this shadow effect i'm going to make it the right and you can increase the distance and for this i'm going to make it the shadow effect towards the left and increase the distance something like this so once this is done make sure that it is aligned properly on this paper you can see here and then i'm going to give a spiral binding look so for that let me just zoom in i'll just align it properly okay now what i'm going to do is go to insert shape select the oval shape draw oval shape by holding the shift key a small one again hold the shift key you can reduce the size something like this and then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it black color you can see here and press ctrl d to duplicate at the other side you can see here then go to insert shape select the rounded corner draw a rounded corner and make it fully rounded and reduce the shape sorry the size and you can just put it here and you can reduce the width also something like this and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some light color and if you want you can give some shadow effect which is offset bottom something like this you can see here maybe you can do a gradient fill also but i'm not going to use i'm now i'm going to select these three objects with the help of a mouse press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and then give some spacing let me just zoom out press ctrl d you can see here you keep on adding ctrl d till the bottom here then you can just select this and let me just select once again so i'm just going to uncheck this one let me just zoom in you can see here even this is got also got added so i can just hold the shift key and remove this selection you can see here and then i'm just let me just do it again yeah and add this and you can go to the align you can see here align make it left and say distribute vertically and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one object something like this all right so you can see here this is the the inner part is ready now it's time to add the frames to hold the images so let me just add some rectangle shapes go to insert shape select the rectangle draw a rectangle so depending on your requirement you can add it and then shape outline make it wide and i'm going to increase the weight you can see here something like this and shape fill i can give some light color here you can see here some light tan color anyway we are going to add some images on top of this so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this and press ctrl d reduce the size you can see here i can make it maybe something like this i'm going to add one image there again press ctrl d i'll tilt a little bit something like this you can see here again ctrl d to duplicate and i can just reduce it something like this so whichever way you want to place the photos you can do it so now it's time to add the photos on top of this one so i'm going to select this go to the you can see here picture or texture fill so by default the same image is coming so you have to just click the insert and click from a file any image whatever the image you like to add it here the photo or picture you can just simply go to that particular specific folder and choose the file so you can see here i have added these four color uh, images here so now if you want to adjust it properly for example if you want to align it something then you can just select this one and then go to the you can see here texture sometimes what happens when you insert the photo it looks the upside down so you have to untick this one you can see here and then with the help of this uh, axis you can increase or decrease or whichever way you want you can just adjust it for so example if i want to adjust this one you can see here i can just adjust it something like this all right so now uh, this photos doesn't look like of a vintage so i'm going to give the uh, the effect of a vintage or the old uh, uh, kind of thing so i'm just going to select all these four photos go to format color and i'm going to choose the grayscale can you see here i choose the grayscale now what happened here is i want to give more a kind of a vintage look so i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here then you go to the 
shape effects here you can just select solid fill here and here shape outline i'm going to make it no outline so it looks something like this and for this i'm going to choose the same image which i have used again so i'm just going to select this Control c bring it here uh, come to here actually then select this one again picture or texture fill so the last image is appeared then i'm just going to click on the clipboard so you can see here that image has been added now increase the transparency level can you see here increase the transparency level and then just you can see and on top of that add it if you want you can just reduce that one so you can see the difference here it looks very old photo you know so again the same thing i'm going to do or what i can do is i can just simply come to insert shapes select the rectangle again draw the rectangle exactly on top of that shape outline make it no outline and again select the picture or texture field you can see here you got this one so likewise i can just simply go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle and again depending on my requirement i need to align it see something like this all right tilt it a little bit again you need to adjust it so that's the reason generally i select the photo and remove that one so i'm just going to picture or texture fill you can see here shape outline make it no outline so likewise you can just give any old effect you can see the difference it looks very very old photos in the old album so this is the first page only have added now if you want you can add 10 15 20 30 pages depending on your requirement depending on the photos you have now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this one right mouse click and just say duplicate slide and then what happened here is let me just move this aside and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this image again go here click on insert and insert some different images from your uh, local pc so you can see here i've added the next four set of images again i'm going to select all images uh, by holding the shift key then again go to the format then color just make it the gray scale so it looks like this and then i'm just going to add the same effect at the top or if you want to change the layout of that image also that also can be done for example if i've just select this one you can see here then i want to just rotate it something like this so depending on your requirement you can just arrange it whatever so this is the first page and this is the second page now i want to give some transition effect where it looks like the pages are you know it's flipping or it's uh, opening up kind of thing so for that go to the transition and just click it here and you can see here from the exciting i'm just going to select the page curl effect so it comes something like this you can see here if i play in the slideshow it comes something like this so depending on your requirement you can add as many as pages uh, you want so once you add all the images number of slides or number of pages now i'm going to add the two main uh, slides also the first one is the opening slide and the closing slide so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this and duplicate this one and then go to this slide you can see here i'm just going to delete all these things you can see here i don't want all these things like this i don't need this one this also i'm just going to make it reduce the size again i'm deleting this you can see here i'm just deleting all you, if you want you can just keep like that and then you can add your any header here for example i'm just going to type old memories and then select this one make it a light color font you can see here increase the size and any font size you can choose i can see here like this and you can go to the text options and increase the transparency like this so it looks something like this you can see here and for this page also i'm going to give the go to the transition uh, sorry transition and then select the page curve so what happens here is this is the first page you can see here it opens something like this then the second page right then what i have to do is i have to add one more again i'm going to select this duplicate this one you can see here now i'm going to delete from the left side you can see here 
sorry the right side i'm going to delete and the left side i'm going to keep again reduce the font or this uh, the spiral one delete all these images you can see here uh, this also i'm going to delete or let it be we can keep it then go to insert text and you can give say thank you or whatever for example give the same thing again any good font of your choice you can choose and it looks something like this so let me just do it from the beginning you can see here the old memories and the album the vintage album opens then the first page the second page and then it closes. it says thank you so it is very useful for your day-to-day -day presentations